Hey everyone, welcome to the channel for another Elden Ring build video. This time with a look at a truly classic weapon that has stood the test of time for over a decade in Souls games and carries on the torch into Elden Ring, the Zweihander, a massive two-handed sword that combines raw power, an amazing moveset, and long reach to make a fearsome PvP weapon. What it lacks in pure damage output, the Zweihander makes up for in versatility, switching between wide slashing swings and long thrusting stabs to catch people off guard and chop down their health bar until there's nothing left. It's it takes a bit of finesse to use the slow attack patterns to your advantage, but with proper practice and good timing, the Zweihander is a deadly PvP weapon that is easy to get, customizable with many different skills, and great for pure melee tank builds. For this video, I'll be covering my Zweihander build that I've been using for PvP duels at around level 150, including my character stats, Ash of War, spells, and talismans. And then I have some gameplay from my duels with this build to show it in action at the end of the video. First up, the Zweihander is actually quite easy to acquire, sold by a merchant in the Weeping Peninsula just to the south of the starting area in Limgrave. All you need to do is collect 3500 runes, visit this merchant, and you can have the Zweihander basically right from the start of the game. The moveset on this sword is one of its biggest strong points, with a great mix of slashing and stabbing attacks. In general, the light attacks are wide slashes, and the strong attacks will give you a stab. You also have a stab attack out of a roll, which is one of the best moves on the entire weapon, and great for catching people that are running away or moving in towards you. For the Ash of War on this build, I was using the Bloodhound Step skill, which has definitely become a community favorite for big weapons like greatswords because it adds a ton of mobility to your build, allowing you to dodge around much faster weapons and nail your opponent with some pretty big counter hits. It's also really amazing at chasing people down when they run away, so it's quite a versatile skill in general. You can get this Ash of War in Kaled by going to Lene's Rise and resting at the Site of Grace. Rest until nighttime, and then you should see a Knight's Cavalry mini-boss in the distance, which will drop the Ash of War. The other ability that I'm using on this build is the Vikes Dragon Bolt Lightning Buff spell, which infuses your weapon with red lightning to add extra damage. This spell can be found in the mountaintops of the giants by heading to the Lord Contender's Everjail and defeating Vike. Honestly, after learning more about this spell, I would drop 8 points out of faith and just use the normal Electrify Armament spell instead, but this one looks way cooler, so at the time, I just sort of assumed it was better. For my character stats on this one, I was working off a level 150 build that I use for 1v1 duels with other players, and I made this a pretty straightforward quality build with a lot of HP and a little bit of faith for the buff spells. My Vigor is at 50 points for lots of HP, and I had my Endurance and Mind both at 20 points for a nice balance of Stamina and FP for my Spell and the Ashes of War. My Strength was set to 50 points, and my Dex set to 60 points. And because of this balance of stats here, I gave this Zweihander a quality affinity, which boosted the scaling for extra damage on both Strength and decks. Finally, my faith was at 23 points for Vike's Dragon Bolt, and as I mentioned, I would drop down to 15 faith if I made this build a second time and put those 8 points into Endurance for extra stamina. If you're making this on a lower level character, you could change the Zweihander to a heavy affinity and just dump points into Strength instead of adding Dexterity, and maybe drop down to 40 Vigor as well. For my talisman setup on this build, I focused on extra stamina and base stats like HP and equip load, keeping it pretty simple since there's no real need for extra damage on the weapon art. My first talisman is the Great Jars Arsenal, which massively boosts equip load and can be found in Kaled at this Colosseum in the northern part of the landmass. You'll find three red summon signs here, and if you beat all three in one go, the Great Jar rewards you with this talisman. Next, I had the Erd Tree's Favor plus two, which boosts stamina, HP, and equip load. This can be found in Landell, Capital of Ash, after you've cleared most of the main story. Next, I have the Viridian Amber Medallion plus two, which boosts your stamina even further, and this can be found in the Halig Tree, near the Town Plaza Site of Grace. With these three talismans, you have a ton of extra equip load for the heavy Zweihander and some good armor, and lots of extra stamina so you can keep up the fight, since this build eats up a lot of stamina with every action. Finally, my last talisman is the Old Lord's Talisman, which makes your buff spells last longer so you don't need to recast them mid-fight. This talisman is in the crumbling Ferrum Azula, and you need to backtrack from the Great Bridge Site of Grace, jump over a ledge, and then you'll find this talisman in a chest guarded by some beast men. Well, that pretty much covers it for the build that I was using with my Zweihander. At first, I'll admit that I was kind of concerned over the slightly lower base damage of this sword compared to some of the other colossal weapons, but after using it, I soon discovered that the moveset combined with the Bloodhound Step was just so versatile that I was able to counter fast weapons with the long reach of the sword and counter slow weapons with the quick step tactics pretty easily. It's not exactly the flashiest weapon, but it's damn effective, super fun to use, and really quite simple to acquire and upgrade. I've got some gameplay from PvP duels with this thing to close out the rest of the video, so I hope you enjoy, and let me know what you think of this Zweihander and my build down in the comments below. 
Thanks for checking out the video. I've got links to my Twitch stream and Discord server down in the description. And until next time, stay safe out there, Tarnished. Oh, this guy's got dual fucking Vike spears. Oh, that extra little fucking second really threw me off. So did mine, though. Oh, that was so close. If he had hit me with a strong attack, I'd be dead. Oh, this guy's coming straight for me. Ho 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 ho, my son. Stamina left. Ooh, but you got no health left, boy. <laughs> fucking everybody's got dual katanas in this fucking game lately. Dude, this guy's really just gonna try and trade hits. Goodbye. God, we both keep whiffing by like a pixel. Size of that hit, though. Yep. Ah, fuck, I let myself get hit. I'm dead. This guy's got, like, no HP. Oh, well, good fight, my friend, I guess. God damn. The quick step does not accept your directional inputs very well. It's like the one critique I have of it so far. Like, the dodge roll is really accurate on putting, like, the exact direction that you press the button. The quick step, sometimes I find it's really awkward. Ah, come on, that should have connected. And you're dead. Look at 
Looks like that's a pretty popular strat the last couple days. Oh, should I know this one? Here comes the heal. <laughs> the quick step is just like unreal fun. The first couple days when, when people were using it against me, I was like, man, that seems like too good. Now that I started using it, I'm like, uh, it is too good. I, li I like it a lot. <laughs> This guy's got quick step on too. Ooh, switching weapons. Oh shit! Whoa! He tried to chainsaw me, but my shit does more damage. Okay, we got another bleed build. Pretty sure it's the same fucking katana. Yeah, here it comes, here it comes. The trade. Mage. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's going to hurt a lot. That's Godfrey's axe. I really want to try it out at some point, but you're dead. Again, you gotta vary up your attacks. You can't just spam the weapon art all the time. right out of the fucking air. Dude, like, everybody's using katanas. <laughs> fucking literally everybody, man. Ah, it's the bleed katana. I should have saw that. Wow! Three hits did that much damage. Just for reference. Well, shit, but I guess two hits of mine did that much damage. What do you mean that missed? Bye. 